Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can get perfect harmony vocal timings using Vocal Sing, which is included in Cakewalk by BandLab. But before we get started on that, I just want to inform you that there is an update on BandLab. So if you are not running the latest one, check, make sure that you are running BandLab Assistant version 3.20, which will also allow you to download the latest version of Cakewalk. So make sure you do that. And uh, with Cakewalk, I am running the version, there we go, down here, 2018.05 build 20. Even though Vocal Sync actually existed in the previous versions as well, but I just want to make sure that you got the latest version, since it's free. So without any further ado, let's get on with the topic. To demonstrate Vocal Sync, all I have done is put some backing track loop and let's have a listen to that one. It's just a simple loop that goes about eight bars. And then what I did is I added some vocals, you know, uh, words from my song. And then I recorded some harmonies. On a hill I stand Waiting for you I mean I tried my best to harmonize And it's not the same Not without you There we go, so a backing track and some vocals and harmonies. So let's have a listen to those harmonies, uh, the vocal and the harmony together. And you will find that even though my harmony is a little bit in, in tune, in pitch, but timing might be a little bit out. Let's have a listen. On a hill I stand Waiting for you And it's not the same not without you. Okay, so there we go. Those are the two. So we have the main vocal and then the harmonies. There's a reason why I've recorded the harmonies in stereo, um, because I want to also later on give some stereo effect to it. And I'm going to show you how to make it even more dynamic. I'm going to demonstrate this also without any effects. I'm not going to put any reverb or delay or such so that you can actually hear what is happening because... Uh, reverb and delay might conceal some of the effects of the timing that I'm out. Now since audio time stretching can be CPU intensive process, which is what vocal sync is, vocal sync is not like is similar to plugins where you can just add a plugin and make it vocal sync. You need to actually have a special process for it. And the way you access it is you need to decide which one of your audio is the guide, which one is the one that being tuned or timed, you know, uh, the timing corrected. So in our case, I want my vocal to the harmony to be corrected. So I'm going to select that one and I'm going to right click on it with my mouse and I'm going to select region effects, vocal sync, create region. Now this will create a separate process of the section that I've just selected. So now we have vocal sync at the bottom and we also have the vocal sync plugin. I'm just going to drag it to the about here. So let's zoom in into here and see what actually happens with vocal sync. What you see the green at the top is the original harmony and the gray at the bottom is the guide waveform from the main vocal one. You can see that it's pretty much corrected it in timing and if I start adjusting the vocal sync you can see how they actually change. 
he tries to match the audio to the guide. So let's have a listen, all the way turned off, pretty much, and then we, I slowly turn it up and we'll be able to hear how it actually tries to synchronize the timing. On a hill I stand, waiting for you, and it's not the same, not without you. Going a little bit too far there, so... From On a hill I stand, waiting for you, and it's not the same. So pretty much in timing. Not without you. Let's turn it off. On a hill I stand, waiting for you. See, I go longer there. And it's not the same. The main lead is much longer. Not without you. Turn it back on again one last time. On a hill I stand, waiting for you. And it's not the same. Not without you. Okay. So that's what vocal sync does. If you have your harmonies or vocals, voiceovers. You can even try this on other instruments as well if you want your um, other instruments so or vocals get in line with each other. You can use Vocal Sync. Now, there are commercial plugins available worth about four or five hundred dollars. They will do pretty much the same thing. You're getting it in Cakewalk by BandLab for free. So that's that's really really fantastic because this was only available uh, when Kickwalk was Sonar in platinum version. So this was this vocal thing was only available in platinum version. Now you get it all for free. Not many people probably know about it, especially when they're just starting to Kickwalk and they have never experienced Kickwalk before. But this was one of the biggest tools you could use for harmonies. Okay, so let's get on and have a quick listen to the actual song with the backing track as well. See how much different that actually made. On a hill I stand Waiting for you And it's not the same Not without you there we go. Double click and turn it off and have a listen without it. On a hill I stand Waiting for you You can tell right there waiting for you how it goes really out. So turn it back on, on again. On a hill I stand Should be in time. Waiting for you And it's not the same Without you. Well, there we go. That was vocal sync, perfectly timed. So let's now get some really nice additional effect on the harmonies to make it really wide because everything is now in centered. Uh, even though it's two tracks, but it's uh, not stereo recording because I only have one microphone that I've recorded just before uh, recording this video. So on the harmony, I'm going to open up the track. I'm just going to add Ozone 1 Imager. This is a free from Isotope. You can go ahead and download this plugin. It's called the Ozone Imager. It is free. Did I mention free? Yep. And I'm going to show you what it actually does. I'm going to turn off the stereo eyes first and let's have a listen. On a hill I stand. Stereo eyes on. Waiting for you And it's not the same Not without you Now how good is that? All for free now. Cakewalk free. You've got vocal sync to sync in time with the harmonies and then ozone 
imager for free to really widen up the harmonies as if three people singing. You've virtually got two vocalists at the back harmonizing with your vocal. And lastly, in my last example, the Frontier. Let's add it up. I'm just going to turn the volume down to start with and see if you can master it. Yep. Not without you. On a hill I stand, waiting for you. That's now master. It's not the same. Pretty much. You just need an EQ, and then it's all not master. without you. Well, I hope this was helpful. Now you know how you can actually synchronize your vocal and your harmonies in perfect timing. And you can use the Ozone Imager to widen the harmonies up and a little bit of compression to uh, put nice level so it sounds very easy to listen to. And please experiment with other options of vocal sync as well and let me know in the comments below what else you actually achieved using a vocal sync. I hope this was helpful. Make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys. On a hill I stand Waiting for you And it's not the same Not without you